Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. I don't know what I'm going to do with this or what I'm doing, but... Oh! Was new! Was new! Welcome to the fold. Oh no, what did I join? Space Cult. But I, I'm really wanting to make something NASA-ish, okay? Super NASA-ish. We're talking the gold, we're talking the teeny tiny little breakable machines inside of these things. We're talking about the super stages that like a million different stages just to get a little tiny thing into space. Let's go like full on NASA. I don't even know if this is... I want to try to do the, uh, like I said before, my favorite rover in my, in my childhood was the Pathfinder. I want to see if this would work though. I mean, it's super small. I don't know how I'm going to fit everything on there, but it's worth a shot. Oh, that's right. I can't duplicate robotic parts without it bugging out real bad. So we're going to have to do this one at a time. Hmm. This could be a problem. I mean, I'll risk it. I'll risk it for now. I just hope it doesn't bug out on me. Question is, can we build a rover small enough to fit on one of these pedals? Don't think, I don't think, I don't. I don't see it happening. Hold on now. All right, I think I'm going to use one of these uh, duck fan blades to start building off of. So that way it can be attached to the clampotron or the tron. Yeah, clampotron. I could build the rover around it. We might actually actually have to go for something a little smaller. See, it's got a little green thing to it, so I can like just like that. Oh wait, but we have to control it somehow. Ah! Fuck. I don't know. I'm 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 really pushing the capabilities of this game when it comes to things that are small. I want to make it look like the rover, but I don't think that's going to happen, to be honest. Oh, wait. Hmm. Hmm. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hmm. Uh. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. Oh, no. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm... Hmm. I mean, look at the bright side, we could always... Hmm... <laughs> uh... Hmm... It opens up, right? Revealing a shit ton of cookie cutters. Oof. Let me see something right quick. Okay, let's see, uh... How that fares. I mean... It looks about right. Let's hit the space bar and see what happens. Space bar! Oh! Uh-huh. Hmm. Hmm... Hmm. I don't know. That just makes a mess. That just makes a really bad mess. Woof. And how would it fare... Oh, hold on. How would it fare being dropped? Okay, this is a good test. Alright, testing in 3, 2, 1. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go a little higher. Eh, eh. Oh, okay. As far as I go. And... Drop test in 3, 2, 1. Huh. I mean, I'm surprised because they actually, they actually are protecting the case in a way. Hmm. All right, let's test it out. Uh, hold on. All right, and go. I'm really not liking those shadows from the clouds anymore. I used to, but not anymore. Okay, so like in real life, the parachute cuts just before it hits the ground or something like that. No, wait, it was like a little, like a little machine or something. Yeah, I'd have to look at the diagram again, but it just kind of releases it way above the surface. Cutting chute in three, two, I forget how many meters. One, we'll try for a hundred and cut. Oh, it bounced. Looks like something got jammed up in there though. That's going to be a problem. Hmm. I mean, would the stuff inside be protected? That's the question. That's the question, isn't it? Well, I think I'll make a double layer just because it hits so hard. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Well, whoops. Hmm. <laughs> okay, up to here. Okay. Hmm. I was kind of hoping that that might serve a purpose, but uh, it's just too big. Okay, we're just going to have to go for the obvious choice. Okay, we're just going to have to go for the obvious choice. Something like that. Whoa, too big, too big, too big. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on now. Hold the phone. Ah, so close. That would have been perfect. Oh, so close. Is there a way I can make this work? Hmm. Nope, didn't think so. <sighs> 
Oh well. It was a it was hope for a brief moment. Like a brief moment in time. Looks like we're just gonna have to use the power of flags. Woof. Damn it. So close. Eh, eh, eh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Alright. That seems about right. Okay. Uh-huh. Alrighty then. That looks good. Actually, this is not going to work. Unfortunately, nope, it's not going to work because our little rover is going to be right here, right? So folding these up is not exactly going to work. Crap. Uh, I'm running out of time. This might have to be a two-parter or a three-parter. Be a fun little project, though, regardless. But how else can we make this happen? I'm not too worried about the rover. I, I have an idea how to make that work. Make it super, super small. It's uh, the laying out of the little ramp that's going to be a problem. Now we could fold it out. Hmm. <sighs> okay, here's an idea. Here's an idea. It doesn't look like that's going to work either. Uh, <clears throat> this might not... Yeah, well, actually, in reality, I wasn't going for an exact replica. I was just going for something similar to it. But that's a bummer so we're gonna have to think outside of the box and go for the best solution that ksp is capable of offering so i think i'll do is i'll leave the whole ramp thing for later and just go ahead and build the rover uh huh uh, uh, it's something i guess this thing is huge this thing is freaking huge <laughs> What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Can I kind of trick it? Oh wait, okay, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna take the little grip pads and I'm actually gonna take this out for a second. Put a little grip pad on there, or grip pads actually, like so. I think that'll be good. Go in there and select the other variant. Okay, that might work. We'll make them extreme grip. Let's make more than one actually. Let's, uh, there we go. Put it right in the middle and crap. <laughs> crap. Ah, damn it. How did I know I was going to do that? How did I know you were going to do that? Why do not you be so mean to me? Okay, let's try this. All right, okay. Uh-huh. Pull it, pull it. Oh, crap. We ran out of flag. Well, uh, tell you what, we'll just bring this down a pinch. Bring this down a pinch. We're going to make the RV, uh, RPM limits on this thing very small. Okay. I was thinking about making a one-tire kind of rover, but I think it's going to need some support in some fashion. You know, we'll just make more flags. Try to cover that up. Crap, that's the smallest one we got. Hmm. Is, uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Yo. <laughs> okay. Um. All right, try to make sure that they're pretty close matched. Okay. Uh-huh. Hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. It kind of looks like a little rover. Just a little bit. It's not, you know, it's not the Pathfinder, but it's it's something. I swear, if this little rover works, I'll, I will, I'll squeal. I will squeal. Okay. I think we can move them up a little bit. Just move them up just a tiny bit. Well, there we go. We can actually move them up a little bit more. Or can we? I think we can. Just a pinch. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that fits, actually. That fits pretty good. I just hope the flags don't bug out. I've been having bugs with the flags recently. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to test out the rover. I want to see if it can even move, to be honest. Alright, let's see if the little rover explodes. Yep, I think it just exploded. No? Okay, still in one piece. And drop. This is Vessel Mover, by the way. It seems to work for this version of KSP. Alright, parachute out. Get ready to cut it. I'm really going to do something about those clouds. They're driving me crazy. And cut, shoot. And open. Did you really survive that? Okay. Let's uh, undock. There, there he is. And he should be under my control now. I think it was zero. Are you serious? How does that work? How is it turning from there? How did that happen? <laughs> That's not cool, yo. Okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. So I'm gonna save this real quick. Take the engine out right quick. Place these bad boys on the opposite side. Put it right in the middle. Bring it down. Down a little more. All right, let's save it. And uh, let's do this. Undock and throttle. Oh, 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 dear, ah, no, <laughs> oh, wait, wait, we kind of have a way of spinning this around, right, by going really fast and stopping, 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 ah, oh, crap, okay, I'm gonna have to do something I, I didn't really want to do, vessel mover, all right, that's cool, in place. Okay, so if it's on the surface of Duna, I just give it a little bit of gas, and it, it's kind of moving. Maybe we should add more. Should add just a pinch, a pinch more probably, to make it a little bit more smoother. It's going the wrong way. Invert direction. There we go. Going faster doesn't really help all that much. But it's teeny tiny and it's moving! It's moving! <laughs> it's crawling! Crawl, you little golden beetle! Crawl! Oh boy. What is wrong with me? Well, everyone, that's all I have time for today. We'll keep on working on it. And uh, please be safe today. I love you all. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Bye bye. Look at him go. Just look at him go. He's so cute. He's just adorable. Yeah, 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 boy, yeah, yeah, boo, boo.